Do you remember the Darth Vader burger from Quick? Well today, I'm going to make it at home. And it's going to be so much better than the original, it's going to go from Bantha Poodoo to Kyber Crystals. That's the nerdiest thing I've ever said. Welcome to Lights Camera Kitchen. Today, the Darth Vader burger from Quick. Rien ne pourra détrôner la puissance poivrée du Dark Burger. So in 2012, Star Wars re-released Episode 1 in 3D. Quick, which is like a French bonjour, Burger King, bonjour. made three burgers all themed after Star Wars characters. We had the Sith Burger, we had Yoda Burger, and we also had the Dark Vader Burger. Yeah, that's right, for some reason they didn't decide to call it the Darth Vader Burger, even though they used the name Yoda. The Darth Vader burger consists of a charcoal bun, two smash patties, pepper jack cheese, pickled red chilies, and also a red pepper burger sauce. The most important thing about this burger today is the spice levels. We don't want to make it so hot that it's going to burn the tongue right out of your mouth and you end up looking like Anakin in Mustafa. Ah! This is me. I think it's apparent I need to rethink my life a little bit. All right. Let's make this thing. Okay, to start with, let's have a look at what the Dark Vader burger actually looked like. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is how it was served. I even found a video of someone trying it for the first time and sharing their thoughts. <laughs> Okay, to start, take 100 grams of red chilies, cut into thin strips, place in a 400 gram container, and add one little bay leaf. Next, add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar to a pot set on medium heat, then a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of mustard seed, one teaspoon of coriander seed, stir it up and bring it to a simmer. Then add to a jug and pour it all over your chilies. Seal in carbonite, bring it to room temperature, and you got your pickled chilies. Next up, your charcoal burger buns. Hello there. Take 300 milliliters of warm water, set around 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius, then add 20 grams of your activated charcoal powder and stir it up. Now, take a large bowl and sieve in four cups of all-purpose flour, then add half a teaspoon of dry active yeast, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, then add your charcoal water and mix on low speed for five minutes. Occasionally you'll need to scrape down the sides of the bowl, but please make sure to turn the machine off before you do this, or else... <laughs> now add 12 grams of softened unsalted butter and mix on medium speed for 10 minutes. And of course you can do this all without a stand mixer, but just know if you use your hands, they're gonna get sticky. And it gets everywhere. Next, lightly grease a bowl with oil, then place your black ball of dough into the bowl, cover with plastic wrap, and let rise for one hour or until doubled in size. Look at the size of that thing! Now lightly flour a work surface, take your dough, and then punch it down because the Jedi Council never granted you the rank of master, your girlfriend's gonna die, and the only father figure in your life is an evil Sith Lord! Then pour your dough out onto the work surface, knead for a few minutes, then cut into six equal pieces. Each dough ball should weigh in around 150 grams. Now place all six on a parchment lined baking sheet and cover with a deep baking tray and let rise for one hour or until doubled in size. My goodness, you've grown. Once risen, spread heavy cream across the surface of each bun, which will act as a sticking agent for the seeds and also give them a really nice shine. Then sprinkle on your sesame seeds. I went with a mixture of light and dark as Vader has both within him. I feel the good in you, the conflict. Then place in a preheated oven set at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 15 minutes. Once baked, place in a wire rack to cool. Annoyingly, the tops of my buns split during the bake as they pressed up against an oven grate. But that's okay, kind of reminds me of all the scars on Darth Vader's head. Okay, now on to our burger sauce. In a bowl, add one egg yolk, one teaspoon of sugar, a grated clove of naked garlic, the juice of one limon, salt to taste, Mix to combine, 
And then with a stand mixer or by hand, slowly add one cup of vegetable oil whilst constantly whisking. Increase the flow of oil once halfway through, then add one tablespoon of Dijon mustard and do not stop whisking until the mixture thickens. And just like that, you've learned how to make mayonnaise. You have learned much, young one. Next, cut the top and tail off a red bell pepper, make an incision from bottom to top, then with your knife, open up the pepper and carefully run it across the flesh, removing the seeds as you slice. Now, if you're using the oven to char the peppers, place them on a foil baking tray, skin side up, and place them under the broiler for 10 minutes. Or if you're using a gas hob with a pair of fire safe tongs, grill the peppers until the skin chars. Or you can do what I do and take a hand torch and scorch the skins for a few minutes until all peppers are fully charred. Then, once cooled, remove the charred skin and you've got yourself some smoky red peppers. Now, in a food processor, add your mayonnaise, then add your smoky red bell peppers, blend until the peppers are finely ground down, add a sprinkle of red chili flakes, and that's it. You just made your red pepper burger sauce. Good. Now, let's talk beef. Take one pound of chuck or braising steak. We use this as it's got a higher fat content and will produce a perfect ratio in our ground beef. Start by cutting the steak into chunks, then freeze them for 15 minutes. Then run your partially frozen beef through a meat grinder until a beautiful smooth beef pate emerges. And for those that are buying pre-ground meat, I'll allow it as long as you get the 80 to 20 fat ratio. Thank you, my master. Now, to form your burgers, first loosely roll up the beef mince into 80 gram balls, then put one beef ball in between two pieces of parchment paper. That was hard to say, two pieces of parchment paper. And then using the bottom of a pot, press down onto the beef to create your smash burger patties. Repeat this process until all burgers are smashed. We're doing it this way as it's a lot easier than smashing them in the pan for any beginners out there. Next, take a cast iron pan and heat up a tablespoon of butter. Then place your burger buns into the pan and toast for two to three minutes. You won't be able to see when they're a toasty brown because they're black, but a crispy bottom is a good sign that they are. Then with your cast iron set on a ripping high heat, place both your burger patties into the pan. Season generously with salt and pepper. Press down with a spatula to gain a caramelized crust. Flip after two minutes. Hit it again with salt and pepper and cook for another two minutes and then it's finally time to assemble. This is where the fun begins. First, take the bottom bun and add a generous helping of your burger sauce. Then add one beef patty, then melt that pepper jack cheese with a hand torch or place it under your oven grill. Then add the next beef patty, then a layer of crisp lettuce, enough of your pickled chilies to cover the top of the burger, and then seal your culinary creation with another sourced up Vader helmet. Wow, this looks good. Okay, cross section. That's the power of the dark side right there. Most impressive. Have you ever made anything? And as you're making it, you're like, this is gonna be really, really good. That's just happened. Don't be too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. It's juicy, it's beefy, it's got this crispy outer layer, but it's nice and soft. Then you got that pepper jack cheese, which adds a lovely creamy texture to the whole thing. And on top is that burger sauce, which is just so rich and smoky. The pickled chilies are there, but they're not too much. They're just like, hey, I'm part of your burger, but I'm not gonna overwhelm you. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. If this is what joining the dark side is like, sign me up. Your skills are complete. The charcoal bun is so buttery, so soft, you never taste the charcoal in it. Look at that bad boy. Burger, I might not be your father, but I am your daddy. It's not true. That's impossible. I have you now. Ugh. Ha, word. So this has been Lights Camera Kitchen. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.
Star Wars, it's a Star Wars episode. <laughs>